I'm in Vaughn playing the guard. I'm Christian Orlowski playing the clerk. I'm John Hammer playing Foreman. I'm Emily Wynn playing juror number two. I'm Julia Mercado playing juror number three. I'm Alex Manzo playing juror number four. I'm Aaron Magerly playing juror number five. I'm Ruby Jordan <laughs> playing juror number six. I'm Jermaine Theo playing juror number seven. I'm Zachariah Snan playing juror number eight. I'm Duncan Bevelaco playing juror number nine. I'm Andrew Ireland playing juror number ten. I'm Eliana Kudarovsky playing juror number eleven. I'm Six guilty.
woman saw the killing through the windows of a moving elevated train. The train had five cars. She saw the killing through the last two cars. She remembers the most insignificant details. Well, what do you have to say about that? I don't know. It just doesn't sound right to me, okay? Well, supposing you think about it. A sewing circle. Now wait a minute. This is a man's life. Who do you think you are? All right, take it easy. I have a good mind to walk around this table and slap <laughs> oh, yeah, People, please, I don't want any fights in here. Did you see him? The nerve, the absolute nerve. All right. Don't mean anything. Just sit down. This sewing circle, who does he think he is? Were we talking about elevated trains? Yes, we were. So? All right. How long would it take an elevated train going at top speed to pass a given point? What does that have to do with anything? How long would it take? Yes. I wouldn't have the slightest idea. Neither would I. I don't think they mentioned it. What do you think? 10 or 12 seconds, maybe. I'd say that's a fair guess. Anyone else? Um, I'd say about 10 seconds, perhaps. About 10 seconds, yes. All right, 10 seconds. We're agreed. Now, what are you getting at? This. An L train takes 10 seconds to pass a given point. That given point is the window of the room in which the killing took place. You can almost reach out of the window of that room and touch the L, right? That's right. I tried it, so? All right, now let me ask you this. Did anyone here ever live right next to the L tracks? I live close to them. They make a lot of noise, don't they? It's right by the L tracks. When your window is open and the train is going by, the noise, it's unbearable. You can't hear yourself think. Okay, you can't hear yourself think. But get to the point. The old man who lived downstairs heard the kid say it. Uh, 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 he didn't say it. He screamed it. The old man heard the kid scream, I'm going to kill you. And one second later, he heard a body fall. One second, that's the testimony, right? Right. The woman who lived across the street looked through the windows of the last two cars of the L and saw a body fall, right? Right. So? The last two cars. The last two cars. Well, what are you giving us here? An L train takes 10 seconds to pass a given point, or two seconds per car. That L had been going by the old man's window for at least six seconds or maybe more before the body fell, according to the woman. The old man would have had to have heard the kid say, I'm going to kill you, whilst the front of the L was roaring past his nose. It's not possible he could have heard it. What do you mean? Sure he could have heard it. With an L train going by? He said the kid yelled it out. An L train makes a lot of noise. It's enough for me. It's enough for me, too. I don't think he could have heard it. Maybe the old man didn't hear it with all the L noise. What are you people talking about? Are you calling the old man a liar? Well, something doesn't fit. You're crazy. Why would he lie? What's he got to gain? Attention, baby. You keep coming up with these bright sayings. Maybe you should sell them into the newspaper. They pay two dollars. <laughs> what does that have to do with a man's life? Why might the old man have lied? Do you have a right to be hurt? It's just, I looked at him for a very long time. The seam of his jacket was split under his arm. Did you notice that? This is a quiet old man with a torn jacket who walked with two canes. Now, I think I know this man better than anyone here. This is a quiet, frightened, Insignificant old man who has been nothing all of his life, has never had his name in the newspaper. Nobody knows him after 75 years. This is a very sad thing. A man like this needs to be recognized, to be questioned and quoted just once. This is very important. So you're trying to tell us that he lied. He lied about this whole thing just so he could be important. 
He wouldn't truly lie, but he would make himself believe that he heard those words and saw the kid's face. Well, that's the most fantastic story I've ever heard. How do you come up with a thing like that? I'm not making it up. You must be making it up. People don't lie about things like that. He made himself believe he was telling the truth. What do you know about it? I speak from experience. What? I am the same man. I think we all understand now. Thank you. <laughs> you know, if you want to admit you're a liar, it's all right by Now me. that's too much. He's a liar. He just told us so. He didn't say it. He was a liar. He was explaining. Didn't you just admit that you're a liar? Please. He was explaining the circumstances so that we could understand why the old man might have lied. There's a difference. A liar is a liar. That's all there is to it. Please, have some compassion. People, please, we have a job and duty here. I think they've covered it. I hope we have. All right. Is there anything else? <coughs> cough drops? Yes, please. Anybody want a cough drop? Come on, let's get on with it. Awesome. I'll take one. Thank you. Now, I think we proved that the old man did not have heard the kids say I'm going to kill you. Well, I disagree. Let's hear him through anyway. But supposing the old man really did hear the kids say I'm going to kill you. This phrase, how many times have each of you used it? Probably hundreds. Like, if you do that once more, Junior, I'm gonna murder you. Or something like, come on, Rocky, kill him. You say it every day, this doesn't really mean we're going to kill someone. I mean, don't circumstances alter that somewhat? The old man was murdered. One more thing. The phrase was, I'm going to kill you. And the kid screamed it out of the top of his lung. That's the way I understand it. Now, don't try and tell me he didn't mean it. Anybody says a thing like that the way he said it, they mean it. And how they mean it? Well, let me ask you this. Do you really? Think that the kid would shout a thing like that so that the whole neighborhood would hear it? I don't think so. He is much too bright for that. Bright? He's a common ignorant slob. He doesn't even speak good English. He doesn't even speak good English. The kid is clever enough. I'd like to change my vote. Not guilty. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'd like to know why you changed your vote. I believe there's a doubt. Where? What is the doubt? Well, there's the knife. Oh, 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 my God. Hey, he's making me believe very dangerous. Go on, give us the reasons. Well, the old man, too. Maybe he didn't lie, then just maybe he did. Maybe the old man doesn't like the kid. Well, if that isn't the end. I believe there's reasonable doubt. But what are you basing it off of? Story that this one comes out with? Let me ask you something. To get half or a date. Why weren't all these points brought up in court? Lawyers can't think of everything. Oh my god! You sit in here and come up with all these stories out of thin air, and now you expect us to believe that the old man did it get out of bed, run to the door, and see the kid be 15 seconds after the killing. That's the testimony, I believe. <laughs> and the old man swore to this. Yes, he swore just so he get what feel important. Did the old man say he ran? Ran, walked, what's the difference? He got there. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I don't see how he could walk. He said he went. I remember it now. He went from the bedroom to the front door. It's enough, isn't it? Where was his bedroom again? Down the hall somewhere. Down the hall. Are we to send a man off to die because it's down the hall somewhere? I thought you knew everything. Did you not know that? No, I don't. I didn't either. Mr. Foreman, I would like to take a look at the diagram of the apartment. Why don't we just win the whole trial again? So you can get everything straight. Well, the bedroom is down the hall somewhere. Do you know? Do you know exactly where it is? Please, a man's life is at stake. Do you know? Well, <clears throat> Mr. Foreman, I heard you. All right. What's this one for? How come you're the only one in here who wants to see exhibits all the time? I want to see this one too. So do I. And I want to stop wasting time. Are we ever going to start wading through all the nonsense or where the body was found? No, we're not. We're going to find out who man 
man has had two strokes in the past three years and walks with a pair of canes to get to his front door all in 15 seconds. He said 20 seconds. He said 15. How does he know how long 15 seconds is? You can't judge that kind of thing. He said 15 seconds. He was very positive. Oh, he's an old man. You saw that. Half the time he was confused. How can he be positive about anything? <clears throat> well, you know. No. I don't know. Maybe you know. Is this what you wanted? Oh, that's right. Thank you. Sure. It's my job. You want this? Uh, yes. Do you do me a favor. Wake me up when you stall over. I looked at that diagram for two hours. Enough is enough. Some of us are interested. Go ahead. All right. This is the apartment in which the killing took place. The old man's apartment is directly beneath it and exactly the same. Here are the L tracks, bedroom, another bedroom, living room, bathroom, kitchen, and this is the hall. Here's the front door to the apartment and here are the steps. Now, the old man was in bed in this room. He says he got up, went out into the hall, down the hall to the front door, opened it and looked out just in time to see the kid racing down the stairs. Am I right? That's the story. That's what happened 15 seconds after he heard the body call. Correct. His bed was at the window. The length from his bed to the bedroom door was 12 feet. The length of the hall was 43 feet, uh, 6 inches. Now, he had to get up out of bed, get his canes, walk 12 feet, open the bedroom door, walk 43 feet, and get to the front door all. Oh, in 15 seconds. Do you think that this is possible? I don't see why not. He would have been in a hurry. He did hear a scream. The old man would only walk very slowly. They had to help him. The noise was going to make it sound like a long walk. It's not. For an old man who walks from caves, it's a very long walk. What are you doing? I'm gonna try this thing. I'm going to face off 12 feet, length of the old man's bedroom, and see how long it might take. You're crazy! You can't recreate a thing like that! <laughs> Perhaps this is you see it. This is an important point. It's a ridiculous waste of time! Oh my god, just let him do it. I don't see the harm in it. It's foolish, but go ahead. Okay, um, someone hand me a chair, please. This is the bedroom door. How far would you say it is from here to the door? I'd say about 20 feet. Yeah, just about. Uh, 20 feet is close enough. All right, from here to the door and back is about 40 feet. You're shorter than the length of the hall that the old man had to move through. Wouldn't you say that? A few feet, maybe. What makes you think that you can do this? We can't stop him. You mind if I try? Uh, according to you, it will only take. Fifteen seconds we can spare that. Anyone with a watch and a second hand? I have one. Okay. Well, you want me to start? Stand your foot, that'll be the body call. Alright, I'll time you from there. And let's just say that he keeps his canes right on his bedside, right? Alright. Speed it up. You walked faster than that. This is, I think, even faster than the old man walked in the fourth room, no? No, it isn't. I think I should go faster. I... Speed it up a little. <laughs>
know, far be it for me to call anyone a liar, or even allowing a difference in to be between the old man and you. Well, there, there's still quite, quite a, a discrepancy. It's my guess that the old man was trying to get to the door, heard someone racing down the stairs, and assumed it was the kid. I'd say that's possible. Assumed? Now, listen to me, everyone. I've seen all kinds of dishonesty in my day, but this little display takes the cake. What? Dishonesty? You come in here with your heart bleeding over the floor about slums and injustice, and you've got a couple of soft-hearted, sob old ladies listening to you. Can I not? I'm sick of it all. What is the matter with you people? This kid is guilty. He's got to burn her like it's with our fingers. Our fingers? Are you his executioner? I'm one of them. Perhaps you'd like to pull the switch. For this good for nothing, you bet. I am so sorry for you. Don't you start. What it must feel like to want to pull the switch. Shut up! You're a sadist. Shut up! You want to see this kid die because you personally want it, not because of the facts. You're a beast. You disgust me. Will you 